agreement. I hope the Filipino Indian business community, the Federation of Indian Chambers, will make this advocacy as one of your missions for the 60th anniversary of our relations. Our government views Asian neighbors like India as partners in economic development. We count on you, the Philippine Indian business community, to ensure that our two countries work together to build a more cohesive regional community that will strengthen the economic clout of all nations in our rapidly growing region. And on our part, to ensure that we remain a competitive player within the region and are able to attract investments from countries like your home country of India with the support of the Indian business community and the then Indian chamber, getting all your inputs, we have invested heavily in improving the quality of the country's human resources, in lowering transaction flows and the cost of doing business, in developing efficient access to financing, and building a seamless infrastructure network. For in, I have mentioned, for instance, the ease now of immigration procedures for the Indian business community and many other uh, types of red tape we did away with because you pointed them out to us. And as mentioned by our two speakers earlier, we're also focusing on developing our strongest sector, including commodities, BPO, in great partnership with the Indian uh, business community in India and around the world, and niche tourism. One of the niche tourism sectors we identified is to invite Indian movie companies in Bollywood to come and do films in the Philippines. We have had a couple come. They're happy about the site, they're happy about the talent. They're, in fact, happy about the assistance they get from agencies. They have difficulty because there's no direct flight. So what I heard about the direct flight earlier is, I think, something that we must all work for. We have an air agreement. <laughs> we have an air agreement, don't we? It's now the economic decision-making of the airlines that we must work for, and that would be in the hands of the business community because you are the one who can assure these airlines that they can make money with the load that you will provide with your business activities. We have unique advantage, competitive advantages in these areas. We offer significant value for investors, we thank the Indian companies who have come to invest here over these years where we had different kinds, waves of investments, as mentioned by our speakers, textile industry, retail industry, now high tech uh, and uh, high value. I remember when I was a young girl living in Iligan and I would go to town to go to the market in that very, very multi-ethnic society, I, had, I made a lot of friends among the Indian retail owners of the stores there. So that's where, you, where you've been for a long time. You're still there, and you are now in high-tech and manufacturing as well. The Philippines and India, both with strong decades-long democratic traditions, are partners in the continued growth and development of the countries of Asia. So for the next 60 years and even more, may our two peoples continue to work for the deepening of our relationship that has been mutually beneficial to both our countries. To all of us, happy jubilee of our diplomatic relations between the two countries. Thank you.